Hello everyone, my name is Barbara. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If this your first time, welcome. If it's not, thank you for stopping back. Today I'm coming to you to show you how I make my bookmarks, bookmark for your books in Silhouette Business Edition. So let me get started. If there's something you would like to see, then stay tuned. Okay, the first thing you want to do is open your Silhouette you want to go find your file. I already got stuff prepped for me so it won't take so long. So you will find the file that you want to use or, you know, make your own. So I already got mine. So what I did was I go, I went on and I made my template. Let me just get rid of this. I'm just getting this out the way. So you go over here and go over here on the side grab the shape that you want and I want to use that one and bring it back over here I'm sorry bear with me y'all once you drag it over there go back up here and release it so you won't be making more then come back over here hit on it One second. Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to do this with one hand and, and I swear to God it's it's a headache. I gotta find my tripod so I could put my phone on it so I could work without using one hand without stopping my video. But anyway, you already went and got your shape. We already sized it. Your width is gonna be 1.750. Your height is 4.902. Okay. Then go to Google and find you a uh background or whatever you want you use to color it in and so i found my background what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab it put it on top of my top of my label cover it all the way up okay once you cover it all the way up you go over here to open the modif modified panel right here click on that and you're going to hit crop hit crop okay you got to make sure i'm sorry make sure you highlighting both of these both of them has to be highlighted so, you want to drag and highlight both of them like that. Then go over here and hit crop. When you hit crop, it's going to put your background inside your shape. Okay? And then I want a, a little border on it. So, I'm just going to put a little black mark on it. So, I go over here where you see your red box at. You got two boxes over here. One is color and one is for your outline. Click on that and I'm going to make mine black. Click black. And so it put a black mark around there for you. Okay. Okay. Then the next thing you want to do is get a circle. Go back over to shape. Hit that. Your oval. And then hold your shift key at the same time, your shift, and move. And it's going to keep the same size all the way around. Hold shift down and move it to keep your same size on both sides. Your height and your weight will be the same. Uh, okay. But you got to hold the shift key down to get it the same size. Okay. Then you size in your circle, your width is going to be two, I mean, 0 0.293, and your height is going to be 0 0.293, the same. Both of them are going to be the same for your little circle right here. Your little circle. We're going to color that circle in, and I'm going to go up here to my color chart on this side right here, and I'm just going to color it black. Oh, first, uh, 
make sure it's highlighted and then color it in black or whatever color you want it don't matter we're going to cut it out anyway okay so it's black then we're going to take it and we're going to move it remember i'm using one hand move it over here and once you in here once you put it inside your lab, your um, bookmark, go ahead and highlight both of them. Once you highlight both of them, just go over here and you want to hit center. Go up there and hit the middle one. Hit angle center. And it's going to angle it for you. See that? It angled it for you. All right? So it put it right in the center where it need to be, okay? Then we're going to highlight both of them again. Highlight them. Then we're going to go back over here. And we're going to hit subtract. Once you subtract, it'll put your hole inside your bookmark for you. Okay? Now you're ready to build it. So, I already did mine. I already found my picture, my words. You go on there and find your picture if that's what you want to put on there. And your words, whatever you want it to say. Size it down. I'm not going to go into all that. And I found my picture and my words and everything. This is something I'm doing for a customer. And I'm just going to drag it over. And if it go behind, you just highlight it. And you put bring to front. If it goes behind your label. Or take your label to the back. That's all. Either or. It doesn't matter. I'm highlight it. Click it. Hit bring to the front. Okay. And it brought it to the front. Then you position it inside your label. Y'all it's difficult using one hand. I swear to God. But I'm trying. To keep it camera on there so you all can see. And you're going to line it up how you want it. Okay. And then once you line it up, just group it. Highlight the whole thing again. Highlight. Left click. Go down to group. Hit group. Now it's one. It's all one. Okay. If I move it, all of it is going to move. Okay, then you keep it over here, and then we want eight to fit to the page. Okay, so we're gonna highlight it, we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna hit this look like a little I don't know what that looked like, but anyway, it's your um, re, 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 I can't pronounce it. Open the replicate panel, replicate panel, replicate. Okay. And then we want to go to full page. Click on full page. And it's going to fit it to your page. And it's going to get your space in there and everything. Okay. And that's it. Then you go up there and you print it out. That's simple. And once you print it out, you want to get, you want to print it on car stock paper. Car stock. Um, I laminate mines because I want it to last longer. So I'll show you the process after I print it out. I'm going to show you what I do next. Okay, I have a laminator by Scott um, machine. And this is what it looked like. It's a thermal laminator machine. And then you will also need your thermal laminated pouch paper. This is the one I use. You could get, it's in a box too. I just got the 20 pouches. Okay. And it's, and it's the five and a half by 11. So it's like your regular size paper. So once you print your paper out, your paper going to look like this. You open up your laminator paper and you just slide it up in there. Slide it up. Make sure these sides are even. Okay. I got to make sure this is even because it's not. And once you do that, you just turn your machine on. And I put mine on five and let it heat up.
and we're gonna let this heat up i'm sorry y'all but we working she's um we got an order we got to do a hundred um bookmarks for someone that passed and they want to give it out so we're finishing up our um order right now so i'm just letting this heat up it's heating up okay and i'm gonna fix this right here but we got a hundred of these to do and we just get our we, we got all kind of cutters right now she she's just using this little cutter right here and she's cutting it up and we punch holes in it with a puncher okay but i'm gonna go get me another hole puncher and so i could put the eyelets inside the holes i haven't got to that yet but i will so let me finish lining this up for you all okay once i put it in i make sure it's enough room over here make sure it's pushed all the way up there and on the other side okay so it should look like that and when you put it in make sure it's open up there when you're putting it in and then you're just sliding it in the back back here and it tells you the directions on here and you just slide it in slide it in like so and it feeds it through and i run mine through two times i run it through twice I do the front way, then I turn it around and put it through the back way. That's just me. You don't have to, but that's what I do. And that's what she's doing now. She's punching holes. Hmm. So she's punching her hole. Let's see very good so it's coming out it's out I turn it over I don't know what that was on the back of there then I put it back through on the back I don't know what that was there was some underneath there oh my god make sure I don't it was something on the back of there and I should have wiped. Make sure you wipe your stuff on you working in a clean area. It's a little something on there. I don't know. Little. But anyway, we I made extra one, so I'm gonna make sure I don't give on this one that got something on it. What you do? That's an extra one? Oh how you do that? You gotta be careful. We I ain't trying to make no more. But I did make one extra sheet. I gotta make a hundred of them. So to make a hundred eight on a sh on a on one sheet, you need thirteen sheets, and you have uh, I think two something extra, four extra. You have four extra on that sheet, and that's it. And we just cut them out. So this is how they look. And we just got to do finish our trimming so this one's pretty okay so like this one right here see this side if you can see that right here we got to trim that down we got to trim that and then that's it that's how you make a bookmark and you could do the back too but i wasn't i didn't do the back so we just did the front so that's it on my bookmarks hope everyone i hope you learned something from this remember to subscribe Hit the like button, y'all. If you like it, that's letting me know you like what I'm doing and I'll bring more videos. And hit the bell so you'll be notified the next time I come on. But this is how I did my bookmarks. Have fun. Make some for some, um, go to your church. Make some for your church or someone else's church. You know, and make you a little money. Making bookmarks. You know what I mean? And um, thank you. Remember to subscribe. Like. Hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. And if you have a comment, want to see something else, just let me know. And I'll do my best to um, get it out to you. Thank you. And as always, love all, hate no one. Everyone stay safe, wear your mask.